So we saw it coming, right? We saw the signals coming from last year. Remember, right? Grayscale was putting lots of money into Bitcoin, the corporate's money. Michael Saylor, MicroStrategy started the wave going into Bitcoin to protect against a hedge in inflation. Most corporations are beginning to realize that their cash is, is uh, going to be a depreciating asset and they need to turn their balance sheet into an appreciating asset. So the obvious thing to do is to convert dollars that are being inflated, at, uh, you know, expanded to 15% a year into a scarce digital asset. And that's what Bitcoin is. It's Tesla. Tesla is buying a full 1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin and a filing to the Securities Commission. So let's just say these corporates are ready now to go into cryptocurrency, right? They have kind of a crypto native enterprise with banking and DeFi facilities. And the DeFi facilities are supposed to generate more income. That's good. They're going to get more and more income with the interest plus the appreciation in uh, digital currencies, cryptocurrencies, because frankly speaking, inflation is basically going to go up. So if you want to know why corporates are going into Bitcoin, it's simple. The printing of fiat money. The money printer is going burr. The smartest thing we can do is act big. So they're sophisticated. They find out they're okay. They can put money in a uni LP pool. They can put money in an Aave pool. They can even put money in a comp die pool. And this is where the problem starts because you know what? They don't know that this is like going in a jungle with dinosaurs everywhere. Because look at this. Didn't the comp die pool get hacked? Hello? Uh, okay, now what if they want to put in something like uh, stablecoin? Origin USD, remember that? Didn't that get hacked too? Uh, wait a minute, what if they want to put in something like uh, pickle? I don't think they'll do that, but that got hacked too. So you see what I'm getting through? They need insurance. They need insurance to protect their funds when they're going after DeFi. So you say, fine, they're going to cover one of the best companies that's actually acquired by Wi-Fi or Waifu. But wait, that got hacked too. Where do we go now? Because you know what? DeFi has been hit by a lot of hacks. It is like a disease. It is like coronavirus. I was disrupted by the asteroid COVID. So to protect their funds to do DeFi, these companies need a vaccine. And this vaccine is being introduced by this tidal wave of a company called Tidal. And there it is. Look at Tidal. Okay, look at all the JVs and all the agreements that they have lined up and ready. Can't see it. Okay, let me uh, remove myself out of the picture. There. Do you see that? Isn't that super duper impressive? So, why does Tidal suddenly is able to come up the ranks and become one of the premier uh, insurance companies. So let's go into the inside and get more details on this tidal wave. Now, this is a website of Tidal Finance. I really like it because they are DeFi insurance uh, simplified and they give a lot of options uh, basically to their uh, people, you know, uh, whether you are buying insurance or you're providing the LPs, right? So, you know, you can select the protocol you want to cover earn high returns by providing liquidity and they do this in a very unique way. This is very important because you don't provide liquidity, you know, the entire business model might fall. They also issue insurance coverage tokens, buy and sell uh, ICT on the open marketplace, receive governance token for staking. That's important because we want to go in for the long term and basically you can uh, select 
which uh, protocol that, that, that you really want to cover, right? And I mean, this is great because, you know, as DeFi uh, investors and as the corporates come in, they're very sophisticated people. And then you basically earn a return uh, depending on the pool and also the risk. Plus, this is so powerful. Create your own, customizable. Because, hey, this is so new. People want to create their own pools, okay? So this is great. I can create my own pool and I can have other people come in and be LPs there. I think this will be the big one for actually the corporations that are going to come in. So let's uh, go inside and uh, study more about Tidal here. And here, basically, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the uh, medium and look at this. Uh, this is the differentiator, mutual coverage pools, okay? Because you see, as the TVL goes up, and guys, it's gonna go up to the moon, okay? Because the corporates are coming in, it's gonna go up to the moon. What is Tidal doing different? This is very important. So, look at here, they're building the next generation smart contract uh, coverage. Uh, this is a uh, very uh, critical, critical here. Create balanced, well-incentivized ecosystem for users to protect their DeFi investments. So they go here to what is the problems with existing models and look at this uh, because, uh, you know, you have a fight, right? A challenge between the existing DeFi, which is giving good yields and being a liquidity provider for a reserve capital pool for insurance, which is low. So you can't compete. But Tidal has a way to overcome this. So uh, not only with token rewards, they are doing other things uh, also. And they're doing this with mutual cover pools, okay? So you can get exposure to multiple protocols. You're not only stuck to one protocol. And then LP can select a pool with a mix of protocols. That is really great. You are not tied to one. And this is how the people can actually spread their risk while earning higher premiums. This is great. This is what us, and soon this is what the companies, the corporates coming into cryptocurrency want. So basically with Tidal, you know, the companies and us too, yeah? Our, us, the investors, can actually go into the world of DeFi with a lot of confidence. You see, DeFi is new. It is still evolving. There are a lot of good protocols there are a lot of bad protocols, plus there are also good protocols that can be hacked. This is going to be the new normal, okay, protocols being hacked. So, you know, DeFi is like going through this fast race, but avoiding all the pitfalls. And with Tidal, what you can do is you can go with confidence into DeFi. Big companies can go in confidence with the, into DeFi with a fast speed because you know you are protected.